Hey guys and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. And today we're uh, going to go over Automatic Train Builder Mod. And actually, uh, we're going over two mods uh, because they go very well together. The Automatic Train Builder Mod is the main one. And then another mod uh, very recently made by Hopewell to kind of accompany this mod is the Automatic uh, Train Deconstruction Mod, which essentially... Uh, is it does the opposite of what this mod does. So what does the automatic train builder mod do? Uh, this is very, very cool. I demonstrated it briefly in my sending supporters to space series, but it's definitely worth a spotlight um, because it's very cool. So um, in essence, it lets you have trains automatically built and deployed um, with a set schedule, if you like, with fuel and whatever size you want pre-configured. And, uh, and once they're built, and if they have fuel and have a destination that they can get to, they will automatically leave and go there. So this is almost like an uh, automated train yard in essence. Um, so how this works is you first off get, um, you put a normal station down and you need to build little separate tracks like this for your locomotives because this is where you set your, uh, your orders for your destination and uh, you, you know unload, offload, whatever you want. Um, so you, you set these up, you build a normal station, and then it's added um, train creator chest. Now it looks just like a requester chest, so make sure you don't confuse them. I've done that multiple times because it won't work with a normal requester chest. But you plop down a train creator chest, um, kind of wherever you want, at least that you can wire to. And uh, then you wire the station to the chest and the chest to a signal. And um, you make sure the signal is facing um, so that the train will leave uh, base, you know, so that it will go away from this section. Uh, and this is essentially where the end of the train is going to be. This train is going to be built from here forward, okay? Uh, and on your station, you just set send train. If you have the mod enabled, this option will be uh, available here. So send train. And then in your train, and this is why we have a locomotive here, because this is where you set your orders and destination. Um, so for here, I've just set him to go to station 3103 um, with a certain condition zero, and that station is just at the end here. So he's just going to go straight down. Um, but of course, you know, in a normal rail network, if he had a path to a station, like, you know, an iron outpost or something, you can preset that if you want. Um, so that's why you need this guy here to set your orders. Uh, he doesn't need to be fueled or anything. And then the requester chest is where you set the size of the train you want, the configuration and fuel. So this train creator chest, I say it's a requester chest because it acts like one. It requests the items, the bots can bring it. You could insert into it if you wanted, um, if you don't have bots. But uh, yeah, so this is where you set it, is in these request slots. So this is configured for a 3103. Now there's an important note here um, because this second part is cumulative. So three locomotives, right, on one end, 10 cargo wagons, um, and three on the other end. But instead of setting three, you need to set it to essentially, the easiest way I like to think about it is just the second um, locomotive amount, if you're doing double-headed trains, needs to be set to uh, essentially the total amount of locomotives in the train. So a 3103 has six locomotives, so you set it to six. If you did a 242, um, then it would look like 244, um, essentially, right? So that's how you do that, and then you request however much fuel you want. Now, an important note here, guys, is that this fuel is split between all the locomotives, so make sure you request enough. Like, if you just request 10 and you have four locomotives, you know, each one's going to get, like, two. Um, so that's how that works. Now, um, this is the very cool part, is you can even tell it how many trains you want to deploy. So you do that by naming the station. Right now, this is named 3103, but if I rename it, which I will in a second, to, like, five trains or one train it's going to deploy that many. So it deploys them an amount based on what you name the station. And one last note here that's important, you need um, this signal here, but then you need another signal at the end for it to actually be able to deploy, and it needs to be at least um, the length of, of the train away. Um, it needs to be far away enough so that the, the length of whatever train you're making can fit in here. If it's not, the deployer won't work. Okay, so this is set that, so a 3103 can fit in here, and, uh, and it needs to be that way. Okay, so we do that, and I'm going to just name this to one train. I only want one, but you'll see it'll deploy with fuel, it'll be a 3103, and it will go to that station at the end. So I'm just going to name this to one train, and he should deploy, and there you go. He's ready to go, and uh, apparently I've made it so he can't actually path to this, but 
Um, for some reason. Uh, but there you go. If he could path to this, if I had done this correctly, um, he should have went. I'm not actually sure why he can't path to this. Um, but uh, maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's because it's too close to this signal. I'm not sure. But he would path to a station uh, in your network. So there you go. It deploys it. Um, this guy we have set here to... I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, that was a different station. That's why, I think. Yeah, I'm not actually sure why he can't make it. But this one, we will turn on and see if he works. Um, this is for a 262. We'll just say one train. I'm guessing he's going to know path 2. It may have something to do with the signals. Um, yeah, it looks to be that way. It's something probably with our signaling here. Oh, might help if I actually name this correctly. Uh, we'll just name this 262. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And then um, just to show, uh, this again is two, six, and then four locomotives on the second half because that's how many we have total, cumulative. And then this one, this guy's actually like a PAX train. So to do that, um, it's the same thing, but without the cargo wagon. So this is a two, two PAX train, right? So two on one end and then it's gonna put two on the other end, but four for this last one. Um, so if we just name this, I'm not quite sure why the stations aren't working. Um, maybe if I like add a different condition, yeah, I'm not quite sure. It may have something to do with the signaling that maybe he can't fit in between here. Maybe the station needs to be far enough away um, so he can fit in there or something. Uh, not entirely sure on that one, guys. Uh, but it would work. I have used it uh, in a normal map. Um, and then this guy will just name to one train as well. And uh, yeah, so that's how this part works. He will spawn train. Oh, see, he can go. I'm not... Oh, yeah, I bet it is a signal because he can fully fit in there. I bet you, I bet you that's what it is. If we move this back to like here and then get rid of this one maybe he could go uh he may still not fit i'm not sure anyway that one works so there's a good example and then lastly the train deconstructor and this is uh, by hopewell this adds a new train stop which is the train deletion stop and this does require a research which is worth mentioning um this guy requires automated oh so this requires automated train deployment the first mod and then hopes Mod requires um, transportation. Uh, yeah, so one of these requires that. Um, deconstruction, there we go. Automated uh, train deconstruction. So that adds this new stop. And this guy, all you have to do is just place him down, wire him to any chest so that it can actually put the train in there. It doesn't have to be a provider. Um, but wire it to that and then you just send the trains that you want gone, right? So this is kind of like an automated train yard. You send this guy um, to this stop. So I've set this to train deletion stop. Um, so we're going to do deletion uh, train or not. Oh, I think I, uh, I have to rename it. I renamed it once and then loaded the save. Oh no, deconstruction, sorry. So we name, we send him to train deconstruction. Um, it doesn't matter the condition, just send him. And uh, he'll go, and once he gets there and stops, he will deconstruct himself and put him into the box. And there you go. So there you go, guys. That's both the mods. Um, I know a little bit longer, but there were quite a few things to go over here. Very, very cool. I don't think... I know some of you may think it's cheaty, and if so, that's totally fine. It's obviously a personal preference if you want to use it. I don't think it's that cheaty because it's not like it gives you free materials. It still requires you to have all the stuff to build the train. Um, I consider it more of a quality of life mod because it... You know, if you're building huge train systems, like you just built a huge outpost that's going to need 10 trains, um, this makes it way easier. You can just start deploying these things um, automatically and have it preset. And, and then obviously if you tear up an outpost or something and there's tons of trains there, you can just send them to this guy and uh, they'll just deconstruct and go into a chest through your network or whatever. So here you go, guys. Both the mods, both will be linked in the description. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, any other suggestions for mod spotlights? If you did enjoy and found it helpful, feel free to leave a like. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all, and do take care.